Hello, this is Casper, and welcome to my second video on Umbraco Tutorials. This is just a quick video to just kind of inform you what uh, MVC is, because that's what we will be working with through these all these tutorials. And if you don't already know what MVC is, then now is a very good time to find out. If you know ASP.NET, then maybe or probably you know Webforms. Webforms is just the basic way where we have a normal uh, page, an ASPX.ASPX .ASPX page, and a C sharp page, and these two are connected. So you write all your markup, you know, your, your HTML, your ASP content placeholders, all that stuff on that page. And then on the C sharp page, you'd write all your logic, all your code, your data bindings, perhaps could you write in there your connection to a database, all that stuff. And then you can target your controls. For example, if you have an ASP text box, then you can target that in the C sharp page, and then you can assign some text to it, or you can read some text from it. For example, that is how we how you should know. That is how Webforms works, and hopefully that should ring a bell for you if you know Webforms. But Umbraco does support Webforms, but it is kind of ancient, so to speak, and it is something that. Umbraco hasn't really been developing on since I think it's version either 4 or 6 where they switched from Webforms to MVC. Now, the what MVC is, MVC stands for Model View Controller. And this is, well, yeah, basically it's a way of introducing, so to speak, a third wheel. But a third wheel is sometimes also looked as a thing that's holding you down, which this is not. This is just like a third stabilizer wheel, if you will. So, of course, uh, the view, that kind of explains itself. That's where you put all your HTML, your, you know, your markup, uh, whatever you want to put there. Your, uh, yeah, stuff like that. Your controller, that's where you're going to control all the code. So that, that's where you're going to take the input of the two text boxes and maybe put the concatenate, you know, put the text together and then put it, throw it out all in one long string or save the string in a database or retrieve something from a database and then work with all that from in there. The model, now that's a new thing, that's something we kind of had in the web forms but still not really. In a web forms project you would see in these under the C sharp file there was a designer file and Although that was kind of a model, but you'd never got to 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 use it in any way. It was just there because it had to be, but you'd never use it. A model here in MVC is like the the skeletal structure of our of what we'll be doing. For example, uh, the, uh, if a a model, let's say we we're going to create a model for a uh, a, a football match. We would have uh, it would have an ID. Each match would have an ID. It would have a name, maybe. Don't know. We would have some teams, uh, a home team and an away team. It would have a score, you know, zero, one, 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 whatever. It would have a, a play time, you know, Tuesday the second of February two thousand and fifteen, for example. It would have a uh, yeah t a time, not only a date but a time uh, of uh, two o'clock, two p.m. And yeah, I don't know. You could have many things, and all these, all all these things that you want are something you you need to put into your model, and say, okay, this is what it needs. It needs an ID. It needs this, and it needs that. And then that's like the skeletal structure. It's kind of like human anatomy, where the model would be the human skeleton, because that's the bare bone. We need to say, okay, we have to have these bones. We have to have this these muscles, for example. And then we have the controller. That's the that's the brain that controls the body, controls the muscles, and controls how everything works. And then the view would be kind of like our skin, our outer appearance. Um, so yeah, because that we can design, of course, with yeah, with technology we can now almost design ourselves from the ground up. But I think I hope you get my point anyway. Uh, so yeah, that's kind of how MVC works, and of course during the next couple of videos I will show you how to use MVC together with Umbraco, and maybe that, hopefully that will make more sense for you. So again, yes, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you found this interesting, or if you actually learnt something from it.